heartbeat and pulse. March, you better do CPR. Huh? Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I've never done it before. Don Hung, you do it. <sighs> Alright, I gotta hand it to Mihoyo on this one. Honkai Star Rail seems to me like a solid, full-fledged product. Well, sort of. Maybe when they add a jump button. Honestly, after playing Genshin a little while ago, the start of both games doesn't even compare. Like, I'm sorry Genshin, but the first arc with Mondstadt was a news fest for me. While Genshin seemed to start to get their stuff sorted out later in the game, Honkai seems to kick off full throttle. Kind of as if Genshin was their test subject and Star Rail is the product of their experimentation. Honestly, the best part of this game so far for me are the stupid interactions you can have with the world. Like, yeah, the main story is cool and all, but the trash can lore? No, that's where the good stuff is. Not only that, but, but there are many pop culture and gaming references you can experience. While Genshin seem to be more grounded in their storytelling, Star Rail isn't afraid to make a lot of meta jokes from time to time. I've never been lucky when it comes to gacha games. Maybe it's something in my existence that just repels luck. As my pity beginner banner character, I rolled Himiko, and for my 90 PD standard banner, I got a jeopard light cone. Like, goddamn. Now, before you roast me over the fact that I got Himiko and I'm complaining, hey, everyone has different tastes and characters, alright? And Himiko is not someone I wanted. Granted, it could have been way worse. Any male character would have made me uninstall the game. The only character I really wanted was Branya, and I wouldn't have complained about Bailu either, since she's a 5 star healer. But I'll continue dreaming about being that person that gets 3 5 star characters in one 10 pull. What's one more pull? Oh my god, I got a 5 star! Branya! Oh my god! Holy shit! I got another one! What is going on? Oh no, no, no! I got no, a five star no. again! You! That's early game. Oh my god! I swear to god! I got another one! I can't <laughs> this guy! <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you, I am probably going to drop this game later on. At the end of the day, this game has a lot of systems and gameplay loops similar to Genshin, and I really don't enjoy that game. Don't get me wrong, this game does a lot of things better than the previous game, but it's just not one that really appeals to me. But Sunless Sound Zero, on the other hand, is a game that is coming out in the future. Now that one really appeals to me, and seeing how good and how improved Star Rail is, I can only get more excited about Sunless. And honestly, I hope more people get on the hype train for it, because I really want to see it succeed. All in all, Star Rail has been a breath of fresh air. The only thing I was playing before that was League of Legends, and more of that game and I was going to have to visit a therapist soon. This year seems to have a lot of games that I'm looking forward to playing. In the meanwhile, I'll continue playing Honkai Star Rail until Hollow Knight Silksong comes out. You know, if it actually ever comes out. How has your experience with Honkai Star Rail been so far? Let me know in the comments, cause I'm, I'm definitely gonna look at them, believe me. I don't really know how to write outros for videos, so I'm just gonna stop talking now. 